And because that is more in the stage of discipline, military training, and the study of mathematics and logic, it's because the aim of education there is particularly physical and mental, so as to develop the virtue of courage. And then we have in the third level, schooling, these are only the intellectual elite. Hindi na lahat, only about maybe 10%, it's because that is more into questions of value, ethics, politics, and philosophy. So philosophy, ay kinukuha lang ng mga mature people. It's maybe the curriculum 30 years old in above. Okay? So because that is concerned into the electrical training, and because the, the, the virtues that it should be developed is wisdom. Okay? That is basically platonic. That's why, in my contention, my okay, next slide, okay, what is the implication of philosophy and education? Plato stole the historic and organic philosophy to the commoners and made it exclusive to the fascist philosopher king. Parang as if it's the philosopher king who is the all-knowing. Okay? He doesn't promote democracy because he doesn't even allow. He doesn't even access to knowledge. And philosophy, they thought we should make a distinction between philosophy as a discipline and philosophy as an activity. And philosophy as a discipline is exclusive and illness. Kaya nga tingin sa ating mga philosopho, kami mga philosopho mayayama. Okay? It is only accessible to the rare and arrogant souls. Kaya pag sinabi, Philosophy as a discipline, in my experience, is suffering from narration sickness because of its pedagogy of arrogance. Right now, in terms of P4C, the pedagogy in philosophy that is prominent is the pedagogy of fear. And later on, we will see that the P4C is collaborative, creative, caring, and critical. What is fear? What is F? What is E? What is A? What is R? Okay. And then philosophy curriculum, third four, okay, and philosophy pedagogy should be redesigned in such a way that it should be accessible to all. That is okay, the reason why we wanted to introduce philosophy for children. Okay. So next, here, the distinction. What is the distinction between philosophy as a discipline and philosophy as an act of wonder? Philosophy as a discipline is an act. It's exclusivist and elitist. It's only one dimensional. It's based on canon and text. And that is the pedagogy of fear. And when speak of fear, F, it's, it's for fear, E for exclusion, A is for arrogance and authority, and R for repression. Why? Because the traditional way of teaching philosophy, based on my experience as a philosophy teacher, is only lecture and discussion method, right? It's the superiority of the teacher over the students. The teacher acts the fascist teacher. And that is particularly what we call the pedagogy of arrogance, pedagogy of authority, pedagogy of exclusivity. And now, what is experience of the student, the student can talk. It's because the student have not read the text. Because it's based on the canon. Right? Mm. That is particularly one problem. Because the treatment, if you don't read Plato, if you don't read Nietzsche, if you don't read Heidegger, you're not philosophizing. That is the common problem. And that now, in philosophy as an act of wonder, it's, it's a verb, it's an activity, it's an act of wonder. It's something that is inclusive, it's something that is democratic, it's something that is two-dimensional. Okay? Uh, when I was studying ancient philosophy, I know, do you still remember the Thracian maid who criticized Thales? We're so busy looking up there, but what happened to Thales?
Christ is he fell in the well. Because we are too concerned over there without knowing us what is happening, okay, on the ground. And as you can see, there is already the two dimensions. The popular is criticizing the philosophers. And even Socrates is being accused of polluting the minds of the students. Pero nung ginawa ni Plato, di na lang niya sa akademya, he established the academy, and only that is only available to the rare okay? and exclusive souls. That is the problem. And after that, di ba philosophy? They study lang ng mga magpapare. Then after that, hanggang sa na-continue yan, but it's only Lipman na nag-introduce ang philosophy for children. Here in the Philippines, wala pa kayo. Okay? Then, that's why, instead of pedagogy of fear, why not introduce pedagogy for children? That is rooted in being critical. Okay? I as I've said, experiential. Okay? It should not be canon-based. Right now, I'm currently experimenting that is it really possible to teach Nicomachean ethics without even asking your students to read the text? That's a question. You're not an expert on it. I've done that in, in Netanyahu. So, I didn't know. It's not that easy. Just, I need to know the text. If you don't know the text, that would be a problem. Because you as a teacher, you should be able to facilitate. Okay? And next. Okay? Now, this is also a distinction between a teacher-centered and learning-centered okay, teaching. As you can see, what is the goal of teacher-centered? Philosophy as a discipline is more on the acquisition of knowledge. And the students are ignorant. The teacher is the professor, possessor of knowledge, and knowledge transmitted to the student, teacher relation. Teacher is the one that sets the agenda. But it's not just the teacher, it's the chef that sets the agenda. <laughs> and use of testing, that is the summative. But in the problem that the chef wanted us even them and wanted us to be student-centered. But the problem is, there is already the mandated curricula. Right? How can it be student-centered? The, the goal is student development, the articulation and support of their own views. Students are naturally inquisitive. Okay? Teacher facilitates investigation. Learning happens through the group of investigation. Okay? And students determine the course of the investigation. Wala pa mula, pagpasok sa klase, tingnan mo muna kung ano, ang kailangan nila, etc. And what is the assessment? The assessment is an everyday dialogue. Kaya nga, diba, based on my experience, minsan ay hirapan tayo mag-break ang baba ng, sa, 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 sa exam, pero pag during the dialogue, nakikipag, nakikipag-usap sa inyo yung bato, yung sudyante. Pero ang tanong, paano mo magiging grade ang to? And sometimes, we tend to change the grade, right? Right? Okay, so now, but what is more, next, next slide, what is more is the teacher-centered philosophy as a discipline. In prayer Esther, is particularly what we call the banking model of education. Wherein, okay, the banking model mirrors an oppressive society as a whole. It depresses people by teaching them only to conform. That's why it's the fastest teacher. Okay? It maintains the status quo of oppression. There's oppression, authority. Okay? But it does not teach students to think. But just to conform with the text. Okay? And it inhibits creative power by teaching natural feeling. Okay? Here, ito yung sa banking education ni, ni Prere. Okay? The teacher teaches and the students are being taught. Okay? The teacher knows everything and the students know nothing. Okay? The teacher thinks and the students are taught about. The teacher talks and the students listen. Okay? And the teacher is disciplined and the students are disciplined. The teacher chooses the or enforces his choices and students comply. This is particularly what we call okay, the banking model. Okay? How about okay, in student center? Student center is in the problem posing. We're in Okay, there is the meaning of the word in the world. In problem posing, people develop their power to perceive critically the way they exist in the world in which they find themselves. They come to see the world not as a static reality, but a reality of process. And it promotes dialogue through dialogue and corresponds to the essence of consciousness. And intentionally we're a teacher of the students and teacher Okay. A student of the teacher ceases to exist and a new term emerged 
and that is student teacher, student, a uh, teacher student with student teachers. Okay, next slide. So now, if we're going to make a distinction, the banking model is an instrument of oppression. Problem posing is an instrument of liberation. So resistance for dialogue. I still remember, ako, may, may, may naging professor ako. Kala ko magaling siya ng professor. Kasi siyempre, kaya magaling siya dati kasi graduate ng sumo ko blaw niya sa diploma. So, ang nangyari, natatakot ako ng sumagot kahit alam ko ang sagot. And after the class, siya sa seminary, nag-iuyosi siya. Tapos, ang tanong siya, explain to me the epistemology of our soul then. O, alam ko, sagot. Pero siyempre, natatakot kang pinagod yung theory. So, walang, walang tumatas ang kamay. Nagmura siya, mga putakin na niyo. Mga bongo. Halimitan, ganun yung mga pari ng professor natin. Okay? Di ba? So, syempre, natatawag ka, tumas ang kamay kung gano'n, nangangabar pa. So, pagtas ko ng kamay, nasagot ko yung, yung tanong niya, then pagkasagot ko, binang ko ako ng post ng security yun, at ang sabi niya sa akin, P.I. ka, alam mo pa lang sagot, bakit kayo yung mga sinabi? Pero kung mapapansin natin, it's just on, on the text. Walang palang tayo, it's just one dimensional. Okay? Students as objects of teaching. Here, the students are considered as co-learners, thereby become critical thinkers. Okay, next slide. Okay? So, in my, in my view, okay, philosophy for children is a potential project force against the ideological state apparatus of schooling. That's why we really need, this is a challenge, how are we going to integrate philosophy for children in school? Diba? And we have the answer of that. Okay? As you can see, diba, in introduction, caring, critical, collaboration, creative, working in caring, there's listening and valuing. Right? And then we have the questioning and reasoning and that is in critical, which we don't do in school. Okay? We hindi natin yan kasi yung pinagawa. Ako, ngayon, sa totoo lang, pinoproseso ko pa yung sarili ko habang tinitignan ko to. Ano? And after that, in collaboration, okay, as you can see, this is a problem in philosophy. Philosophers, may sinasabi, criticism sa mga, for example, ng like, co-author ng mga philosophers with their students. It's a no-no, it's because it's against the means of academic freedom. Who told you? There should be a treatment of co-learning process. Ang problema kasi sa pag mga philosopher, pag nag-a-advising, parang ikaw ay nag-de-defense pa sa advisor mo. Ibig sa tulungan ka. Diba? Ibig sa magbigay ng ng mga additional tips and etc. Hindi ka bibigyan kasi madapot. Sa discovery, pati yung libro, hindi ibigay. That, that is a kind of problem. Okay? Now, I experience it that when I go all out with advising with my students, sa problema, ako naman ang nananakaw ng idea. So, how are we going to negotiate with this regard of advising? It depends on your philosophy of education. So, now, if we're going to look at it, okay, another is creativity. Okay, do we let our students, ito, lucky ako, this is kind of my problem during assessment. Okay, giving oral exams. We don't have this dialogue because the oral exam is only one dimensional. Pag hindi, pag hindi alam ng sudyante, baksa ka na. Right? And this is something that is really prevalent in any other discipline. That's why we're going to take a look at it. Okay, P for C opens us into new idea. Okay? And as you can see here, teaching profession is just not transmission of knowledge. Teaching profession is more of, okay, sabi ko nga, okay, we can, if you really wanted to change the society, we can change it, okay, by uh, here in Infinity Normal, uh, we have these courses, you know, uh, critical pedagogy, that is more of the integration. We, we, we have the subject, uh, the one at the organizing committee, there are my students in philosophy of transformational leadership. So we are trying to take a look at the link on the classroom everyday 
life in the society. And what is happening in the classroom mirrors okay, the society as well. So that's why there should be a new method of teaching that we should use in the classroom. And that method of teaching okay, is it's a good idea that it was a philosophy for children. So 